In this tutorial, we're going to create the high fidelity characters using MetaHuman Creator. We would like to show you two different approaches on how to create your digital human. The first one using Blend Space method, which allows you to mix different facial features from our character sample base, and the second one with the direct manipulation, which allows you to freely model different regions of the face to get the desired results. MetaHuman Creator is really easy to use. It's made for every user, from beginners to highly skilled professionals from the gaming and film industry. We can start by just briefly covering a few options that we have here in the menu. There is an option to change lighting setup, so you can see your characters under different light scenarios. You can also change the background color and switch to silhouette mode. You can quickly change the framing to different parts of the body. There are three levels of rendering quality, medium, high and epic. High and epic settings are using ray tracing to achieve high quality. Different levels of detail allows MetaHumans to work well across different hardware platforms, no matter if you are using your character in a AAA game, Nintendo Switch or a mobile platform. There is also an option to see your model in clay material. This is extremely useful to understand the form and roughness of the skin without texture information. Just to mention that you can use any character from our preset base as your starting point, and you can blend this character with up to six other presets. For the purpose of this presentation, we're going to select a few characters to blend by clicking and dragging into one of the circles, or just double-clicking on any character from the list. Once we complete our selection, you will get the possibility to select the region of the face you want to blend. By clicking and holding on the selected region, another group of rings appears. Each of these rings represent one of the characters in the blend space. By clicking and dragging the center of the circle, you are starting with your blend process, and the closer you get to the circle's position on the outer ring, you will take more facial features from the character you selected. This is pretty intuitive way. An awesome thing about that is that you can be satisfied with the result somewhere in the middle. In that way, you will add different facial characteristics from all characters you selected. And anytime you feel need to have some specific details from another character, you can easily replace one that is already in the blend, or just add another one depending on how many characters you have already selected. Since our goal is to see this character grow in two time, we're currently experimenting with different options to get skeletal structure more adequate for the age group we're aiming for. And here some general knowledge of the anatomy can be really helpful to better understand what changes occur in different period of development regarding our bones, skin and other facial features. The cool thing is that the whole process in the MetaHuman Creator is non-linear. You can always go back and forth between two methods of modeling until you get the desired results. In this case, we are switching to direct manipulation to fine-tune some details and tweak the form of the face. Under the option for hair, you will find a lot of amazing haircuts. Let's try to change it. You will be surprised how this can affect the entire look of your character and bring it to another context. This obviously depends on your narrative. As you may notice, we brought our character's facial characteristics to a different age and likeness, but constantly try to maintain the general look of family as a young girl. Under the body section, we can easily change the body mass. There is a range of different types and heights you can choose between. I think we got pretty good results here. We can see how Emily's face changed from a little girl to a teenager, and we can see the slight changes in the volume and form of her face, from soft and rounded to more accented and sharp facial features. Here in the left menu under the skin section, there is a texture slider, which is a powerful feature inside MetaHuman Creator that allows you to change the skin type. Moving the slider from left to right, you are going through our character base and choosing between more younger and cleaner skin to more old and rough skin. Beside that, there is an option to change the skin color, tweak the overall contrast of the skin and change the roughness to make it more or less shiny. As we move forward, you can see how easily we change the age with different texture and normal map applied on our character. As we mentioned before, the process is never linear, so we continue to add more adjustments on the skin. As we get older, some of the facial features radically change. 
for example, the skin under the chin area gets stretched and some parts of the skull become more prominent due to lack of facial fat and muscle relaxation. Let's play with the texture slider to see the full range of results we can get and how these changes apply to our actual model. This is the moment when you as an artist or designer have to decide what works best for your context. Keep in mind that at this point you are browsing to all of the database at once, containing all genders and ethnicities. As the database continues to grow, we will work on ways to allow users to filter these textures more specifically. Pretty cool results! This normal map and texture suits our character's face very well. Let's see another feature we have under the head option. Beside hair color and roughness, we can add salt and pepper as well. This kind of detail can really add some additional realism to our character. After that, we are going to add another round of fine tweaking by playing around with the markers. Now let's see what we got. Let's play the animation. Our base presets are designed in such a way so that they contain a wide range of facial characteristics between them. They are not just interesting characters, but they also have a function to give enormous variety of facial features that can be combined through blend space or used as a starting point for the characters that you wish to create. You can change any of the features, like skin tone and gender, regardless of where those features were at the start. To explain this, let's use Bernice as our starting point and let's try to change her into her twin brother, a male version of this character. It will be really interesting to see similar facial characteristic in a different gender. We are going to assign a short haircut, just to be able to see the form of the skull and to instantly give a more masculine look. Then we are going to assign a masculine body. In this first step, we are playing with markers and we are going to accent some features typical for more masculine look such as strong jawbone, accented zygomatic bone, and prominent frontal bone. Nice and clean skin gives us the possibility to be really focused on bone structure for this character. And once we achieve some good results, we can go forward and play with the texture slider to find a skin that can better fit our context. Under the face section, we have makeup options as well. We'll just turn off any option for eyes and lips, then we can maybe come back to explore this option later. Real humans or their digital doubles, it's better to say, form the database in MetaHuman Creator. By moving any region or marker, you're browsing to the whole database of scanned people. This database includes different ethnic groups, different ages, and skin color, so as an artist, you always have to pay attention while combining those features because you can easily run into the uncanny valley. Not all facial forms can work together, and usually the eyes have to fit perfectly into the orbit to avoid any strange looking results. MetaHuman Creator at this point is not intended for hitting one-to-one -one likeness, rather allowing users to create a plausible realistic humans. As a character database continues to grow, the results you can achieve will be more and more accurate and precise. There is no strict formula which elements work together, but good advice will be to keep in mind different characteristics in the structure of facial anatomy between different ethnicities. Let's explore other grooming components. Under the hair section, you will find a variety of eyebrows. They differ in form and they have different breaking angles, so it's upon you to decide what's better fit to your eyebrow ridge and the look you want to achieve. Keep in mind that one element may condition the change of another, so after you apply the model of the eyebrow, you can always go back and adjust the anatomy to make it fit better to your model. We are going to dedicate some time to do different fine adjustments, just to be sure that the form of our face works well from different angles. As we play with the markers, we always have to keep in mind that once we apply a different normal map using the texture slider, some different regions of the face could be accented in a different way. The reason is that the different normal map will always upgrade on the existing volume that we define by moving markers, but always bringing some different features, wrinkles and facial irregularities. It would be awesome for you to just move the slider and see how different normal maps slightly change and define different facial regions. It's highly noticeable on the area around the mouth, cheeks and the area around the eyes. 
Under the body section, you can find different types of clothing that you can really help to put your character in a different context. For all types of clothing, there is an option to change the primary and secondary color. Let's walk through some skin options we have here under the face section. You can choose between three types of freckles that you can add to our character and you will find different sliders to customize density, strength, saturation and tone. This can be really an awesome trick if you want to add some additional irregularities to the skin and can be also combined with the skin accent feature that you can find in the same tab. Here we can choose different regions of the face and do some additional color editing without affecting the normal map. This is more like a face makeup section which can be really used in a smart way. Not only to change the color of different regions, but you can use it as a trick to lighten or darken some areas of the face. For example, if you want to accent zygomatic bones, you can just darken this area to make the illusion of more prominent bones. Like we usually use the makeup in real life, to slightly modify the form of our face. In the previous section, we saw transforming female character to a male. Since our tool database collects facial features from many different ethnic groups, why we just not use this possibility to transform not only from gender to gender, but from one race to another? We are not limited in any phase of our work, and this is a super awesome thing. We can always combine features till we don't find the perfect likeness. You will notice that really small adjustments can entirely change the look of your character, just like we did here. With few slight deformation and change of the skin color, we already get completely different results with our starting inspiration. Don't forget to use the multiple approaches of modeling. You're free to go back to the Blender if you need some specific features that you can already find in our preset base. Beside other modeling options that we already explored, down below in the menu you will also find the Move tool. It's another super option for modeling which works similar as markers but moving bigger portions of the model, like we were grabbing multiple markers together. This can be extremely useful when doing some radical deformation for our skull structure. MetaHuman Creator can really dive deep when it comes about the eye customization, which is great since the eye is one of the more complex mechanisms in our body. There are options for multiple levels of customization if you don't find something that can satisfy your needs in the set of defined presets. Let's take a quick look at the options we have here. There are many different displacement maps which modify the internal geometry of the iris. Combine it with sliders which are located above, you will be able to fully customize the iris with the enormous precision. In the same tab, there is an option to customize the eyes Clara too. We leave this to you to play and explore what finds better suits your character. That will be pretty much all for this round. We really hope you will enjoy creating your digital humans with this powerful tool. We thrive on your feedback, so don't forget to leave some comments and thoughts. There are a lot of upgrades and features we already plan to do, so stay tuned and enjoy creating!